Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and do subscribe. Personal reading link is in the description box below this video. I am running a discount uh, for the month of October, so do go over and check that out on personal readings. All right, you guys, so I was already shuffling and some cards fell out. So I thought, let's just get started and see where we're going and welcome everyone in the chat. All right, Virgo, so you're starting off. You've got someone here who's returning. Expect to hear from someone soon. So this is gonna be the, the week ahead, Virgo. So we are, my goodness, today is Sunday. So this is going to be, um, from the time you're listening to this reading all the way through October 6th, okay? So you've got someone here who's returning. You'll be hearing from someone soon. You'll get a message, a text, maybe a piece of mail <laughs> with a little heart, maybe. Um, it's obviously a romantic connection. This is someone that I feel who's been gone. Um, someone who's withdrawn or withdrew from a relationship, retreated, moved on. Maybe even there was some ban abandonment. But it feels like, yeah, no, they're not gone. They're coming back. Somebody's returning here to your life, okay? So let's take a look and see a little bit more about this situation. Who is this person? What other messages can you tell Virgo in regards to who is coming back into their life? Oh, well, whoever it is, it could be a Taurus, but they're coming back for a commitment. Okay, Virgo, somebody wants to come back in and commit, 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 or get into a very, I wanna say formal type of relationship with you. Okay, Eight of Swords. I feel like some person here is feeling really trapped, isolated, um, stuck at this time, having some kind of a mental struggle. Perhaps that's the reason they're coming back. Let me see here. That's interesting. So you have water and you have air showing up here. Oh, wow. You've got the Four of Wands. So yeah, Virgo. Definitely somebody coming back in for a reunion, for sure. They could be part of your family, like, you know, someone, maybe you, maybe it's an ex, maybe you guys were, maybe you're in separation, because um, for some of you, it could have been a divorce already happened, and this person's making a return, this fire energy. Um, somebody wants to commit to you here, Virgo, or remarry, okay? They could be from your hometown, um, Let's see, what else do you have? My gosh, Virgo, like you can't make this up. Ten of Cups. I feel like the reason this person, wherever they went or whatever was going on, this because the Eight of Cups does make me feel like a ten, like oh, how can I say this? I can't. It's like a it's it's a separation of some sort where two people or one person moved on, Virgo, but it's a return. It's like while somebody was away, maybe had time to think, sort things out, explore options, figure out what they wanted, what they needed to do. Yeah, whatever your scenario here, I feel like this week you're going to hear from someone. Um, now, they're not giving me, let me see, if we can get any court cards to see who it could be. Well, there was definitely a heartbreak, Virgo. Yeah, there was a separation, a breakup, a divorce. I mean, I feel like spirit's just screaming at you here. Maybe an argument. For some of you, there might have been an argument. All right, there you go. King of Swords. So this person, masculine or feminine, air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Now this person, it could be their sun, moon, rising, or Venus. So if you don't know what their rising is or any of the other... Uh, you know planets that's fine the king of swords is very intellectual this person is like head over heart okay this is their energy they're i want to say someone who's very intentional very strategic they could be very witty they they, they don't act, like i don't get a vibe of this person who i want to say that their emotions like it's not the first thing that comes out they're, they might even at times, like, I don't know, I kind of get the vibe when I think about Aquarians and Geminis and Librans, their air. So I get, an, I get a 
I always get a vibe with them that they're like the life of the party or they could be someone who's, how can I say this? They like a lot of times they're just very happy or they take things very lightly. They're not very serious type of people. Maybe more Aquarians could be a bit more serious, but you know, this is just the energy of this person. They don't have to be an air sign, but I don't know. I just kind of feel like with the Eight of Swords even, which is very highly unlikely that you're going to find an air sign who's down long mentally. Not often. They just, they seem to keep things on the surface a lot. They don't get very deep into things. But whatever's going on, they're definitely struggling with this Eight of Swords here. I feel like this person feels alone. Like they've got really no one that gets them like on a mental level, I feel. They f like there's a lot of restrictions. They feel very restricted mentally. They can't express themselves. I feel like whoever they talk to, like nobody gets them like you do. Like you you have a you have um an intellectual understanding with this person. Okay. So <laughs> Yeah, what am I trying to say? I feel like they want to talk to you. They, they miss talking to you. There's something about your conversations that were just fire. I mean, what about the love? Yeah, it's there. You do have the Ten of Cups. It's definitely there. But I feel like the biggest thing is that this... Is that I just keep hearing the, miss your con the conversations you guys have or have had. Your conversations... I feel like this person does love you, you know? Um, I don't know what happened. There was some kind of an emotional breakdown here. So I don't really feel like the feelings are the biggest thing that this person misses. I, I, in some way, though, yeah, because I feel like the intellectual conversation, stimulating conversation, and the, the way you guys, like you had good chemistry, I feel like that chemistry made their heart, you know, inflame right so they're coming back that's all i can say this person is returning okay all right now you also have communicate compromise forgive work it out okay so this person wants to communicate with you they want to try to work something out here okay it's a lot of forgiveness i feel like they hope you forgive them they're willing to forgive you whatever compromises needed to be made i feel like oh the biggest thing here is that You know, I, this is giving me really strong vibes here. This is giving me... I often look at the Seven of Cups as like a bunch of balloons going up in the air. Very flighty, um, free-for-all, flaky energy. The Seven of Cups is fantasy, non-committal kind of energy. So, this gives me vibes of like... This person's coming in here with this sword like a needle and popping all of these balloons and what does that mean coming back down to ground coming back to, to reality having clarity i feel like um i don't know if this can be a confession that this person tells you that they they were living in like some kind of fantasy land um when it comes to commitment or relationships um <laughs> it's kind of like oh yeah don't pop my balloon but I, it, this is giving me vibes that this person wants to tell you that oh popping those balloons are coming back down to terra firma this is like hey guess what i want to tell you why i wasn't committing i want to tell you what my issue was i had such deep feelings here i, I felt overwhelmed this person felt overwhelmed. It could be a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, masculine or feminine. They felt overwhelmed by their feelings. Oh, yeah. Especially if this person is more head over heart. Um, man, Virgo, I really feel like this person's feelings for you is something they never felt before than with anybody else. Like the inflammation of their heart. That's what I keep hearing inflamed like in flames almost maybe even a twin flame 
um, their feelings overwhelmed them. And they're coming in to tell you that, which is odd because I don't feel like this person generally speaks along the lines of emotions. Maybe they might, they might confess this. But you do have the confession card here. So this would be like a kind of a big deal for some of you. Yep. There's the tower. I feel like it's going to be pretty damn shocking to hear this from this. Why do I have so much light? So much yet yeah, shocking. Yeah, it's going to. Oh, I just heard an old Peter Gabriel song called Shock the Monkey. I don't even know what the hell that means. Are you born in the year of the monkey? Because if you are, that's definitely a message for you. Uh, let me see here. That's Scorpio energy there. Wow. The Ten of Wands. So, yeah, this person is like releasing all these burdens here. This is a big, this is a big weight on their shoulder they've been carrying um, in regards to you. It's so contrasting from how uh, an air energy would be, you know, or just this person I feel because with the with the queen of cups or even the king of cups this is all about the feelings and they generally keep their feelings within um you know it could be a pisces with their emotions scorpios generally keep their feelings deep within most of the time like their innermost feelings i'm not talking about the everyday feelings but this person their innermost feelings very protective of their emotions and I feel like um, they're no longer living in this fantasy world here I feel like they're gonna let these feelings out it might even be just a tiny little bit it might not be like a huge gigantic confession but I feel like it's overwhelming them like the burden the ten of wands this is like total exhaustion they're like what's going on within them is affecting them physically so yeah there's going to be communication and that i do feel like might be some of the confession that's coming out here we'll look more at confession of course but oh my gosh yeah see this person believes that you two are completely wonderfully aligned in your relationship it's just like a really, I feel like they want to get on the same page with you. That's their goal here, is to be in alignment with you. And they want to, I feel like you're going to get a message about meeting up or connecting with them. Yeah, there's a reconciliation happening here. Person has you on their mind. They've been thinking about you. Their past memories, full on thinking about you. One more card. Yep, another reunion card. I'm telling you, Virgo, somebody is definitely returning here, especially this week. Now, it could happen the following week or just in October in general, but this is we're just looking at the week ahead. So, yeah, I do feel like that that's going to happen here. Let's take a look at confession. So, someone has something to tell you. So, like I said, part of this is that they were keeping everything in, living in like a dreamland, and they want to make something real here. And let's take a look and see what else Spirit can tell you, Virgo, about this confession. Oh, okay. There's a Queen of Wands showing up here. So you could be connecting here with a Queen of Wands, a fire sign, Aries Leo Sag. Okay, so when I call out these court cards, just remember, if it, if that doesn't resonate, I give you the description. And the description of the Queen of Wands, masculine or feminine, is someone who's very feisty, confident, self-assured, charming, and courageous. But as an energy, I feel there's an eagerness here to tell you what they need to tell you. To confess some. Oh, yep, there you go. There's your eagerness right there. Knight of Swords. Very eager. <laughs> You, couldn't, you can't get any more eager than the Knight of Swords. Fast talking. Non-stop. I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you. Lifestyle change here. Very eager to open up and tell you what's going on within them. Okay. Any more about this confession? 
Oh, wow. Strength card. Taking a lot of courage for this person to admit. And I feel like the way it's going, it feels like this per that's what they're wanting to confess to you. This whole, I was non-committal. I was living in a fantasy world. I, you know, I, I couldn't see straight and I got so overwhelmed by my feelings. Um... Okay, here's part of your confession. This person's been keeping their eye on you. In case you didn't know. Now, I don't know if it's like 24-7, but maybe it's like 12-7. But they've had their eye on you. They've been watching, spying, um, seeking you out if they can't find you. Looking you up. Hmm. Yeah, it's been stressing them out. Man, this person is like having some kind of wake-up call there's a moon yeah in regards to their feelings i feel like this uh, whenever this breakup happened during this time maybe even during the full moon um i feel like this person has had some revelation about their feelings maybe did some self-reflection the moon is very reflective shines a little bit of light i feel like um this is what they want to tell you. I've kind of taken a look at some things here. I don't know, Virgo, why? You know, it must have been some kind of, maybe there was a third party thing. Or, you know, when I say third party, it doesn't mean infidelity. It, it could for some of you if, you if that happened to you. But third party could just also mean other interference that caused some kind of argument or split which it could have been anything emotional, a physical thing, words that were said or words that were not said, um, or anything to do with creative things. You know, all those uh, could have been involved with friends or family as well. So we do have Pisces here. Okay, yeah, this person's been thinking. Yeah, it's been on their mind weighing heavily about talking to you. And so when I say confession, you know, I mean, you might hear this person say, I have a confession to make, but you might not. You might not hear that exact word coming out of their mouth. You might just hear, hey, can we talk? I, I would like to sit and have a talk with you or just kind of discuss some things that have been going on or things I've been thinking about. Um, so I do feel like they're going to request an, uh, uh, some time to talk to you if you'll give it to them to tell you what's been going on with them. Uh, in regards to a relationship. Some of you might have just ended the relationship with your person and told them um, to give them space, perhaps, to let them think about what they wanted or what was going on. You might have just given them space. There might not have been an argument. It, it could just be a ta like a timeout, which does kind of feel that way. I mean, I don't know how long it was, but... It feels like it's a timeout, and this person wants to come back and talk to you about things. And not only about how great you are and how well they think you, you two get along. They might have gone with somebody else, Virgo, if you know for a fact. But I don't think whoever they were connecting with had the same camaraderie as you did with this with them are they with you um so again like i said it's i feel like you might not have known that they 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 were overwhelmed by their emotions or feelings by you like i feel like maybe this person's a little bit avoidant at times doesn't like to get too deep with things i feel like they have a lot of empathy um mm -hmm. but they tend to not wear it on their sleeve okay um and i feel like there might have been some things that were missing in the relationship as far as like that emotional connection, but I do feel like they did feel it. Um, yeah, it's very interesting, Virgo, because I, I kind of, let, let me just look at you. I want to just do a quick peek at you this week in, res in response to all this, how, how you will, or let's just say it's advice. Let's see what your advice is. And with advice, you do what you want, right, Virgo? Whatever you want to do up to you you don't have to take the advice but let's take a look and see 
Okay, Ten of Swords. So your advice here is to surrender to hearing them out. And that's it. Nothing else. Nobody's telling you to go back into this relationship. Um, if, if you want to, you... Well, I don't even think that. I feel like your advice here is just to hear what they have to say and make sure that it's not over the phone and it's not through text. Um, if it has to be video, then, it, then that's what it is. But you want to see each other's faces. and So make sure overall that it's face-to-face. They want to talk to you and you feel safe enough to do that. Go to a public place and let them speak. Hear them out. That's it. Hear them out. You don't have to. If, if you want to hear them out, but and then you're like, oh, I don't, I don't think I want to do this again. Then you just kindly say, well, I appreciate all you said. And I'm sorry. I don't think it's good. For, we're really good. I don't think you're a good. We're a good match. For me, right? Make sure it's about you, not about the other person. You don't want to call out their their BS because, I mean, when you're secure, you you come to a place where it's like, you know, you don't need to call them out. You say what you need to say, but then you be done. You don't, like, if you're dealing with a toddler, you're going to have to keep telling them. But hopefully you're not, Virgo. So, yeah. And I feel like with the Four of Cups also, if you're, if you're going to hear this person out, um, I'll, I feel like try to maintain a sense of indifference in some way, okay? Because if you get too, I feel like with this person, if you get too overly emotional, they're probably, you, get, you don't want to scare anybody off, Virgo, right? Not that you're overly, I know Virgos generally aren't, right? Virgos, sometimes you're just like this person where you keep your emotions deep down and you just have better have to uh, have a, a intellectual conversation is much more comfortable for you. But with the Four of Cups, I feel like the message here is um, give them some, give them a surprise. Give them that surprise gift by hearing them out, okay? By hearing what they have to say. And if you don't want to hear what they have to say, that's fine. Keep it moving. You could just decline. And then this reading won't be for you this week. It must be something, it must be very important. I feel like something here is very important. All right, Virgo. Sorry about that. I need to get my cards. <laughs> All right. So let's see what other messages there are here for you. Messages of love for Virgo. What other messages does Virgo need to know in regards to this situation? More messages for Virgo. Okay, you do have finances. Financial challenges might be affecting or were affecting this connection. So maybe there was an argument or something um, that had to do with finances or something happened that was connected to finances. Let's see what else. Okay, put away the computer. Oh, maybe there was something with the computer. <laughs> um, I feel like they're giving me reasons why, uh, maybe some specific reasons of why there was some kind of a breakup or um, a separation of some sort. Maybe somebody was on the computer too much or working too much. Okay. Feels like there was some kind of a distance. During the relationship. 
Um, somebody might have been working a lot to try to get the bills paid or try to keep up on finances, and it took a toll on the relationship. Or someone was at school, and the relationship, something happened to the relationship. There just It feels like there wasn't enough time um, for the relationship to blossom, or maybe it started to become weak because somebody was giving their time elsewhere. Okay, but now you've got marriage. So I do feel like there's going to be a secret union. There's definitely, like, I, I guess it's you guys are going to work this out. This is kind of what it feels like. There's a great potential for this to be worked out, sorted out. Um, obviously, you know, it's really important, I guess, for two people to hold accountability. Um, whatever your accountability in the relationship is, is just as equally important as theirs. But we're looking at, you know, Spirit wanted to tell you about this person. So it looks like, they are going to <clears throat> come in and talk to you and try to work out these issues. All the issues that I brought up. It doesn't have to be the finances. It could just be somebody was overwhelmed by their emotions or their feelings. Okay. So you have support. Lean on your inner circle during this time, Virgo. And yeah, the relationship deserves another chance. Now this says second chance. So like I always have to say, you know, if this is like your 10th chance, like, no, stop, move on. But if this is another chance, that's good. Okay. I mean, like, I don't want to, you know, there are people that go through, like through their whole lives, not even realizing they're acting out of like PTSD or something. And sometimes people wind up getting help finally and then you know you go back and forth with someone for a really long time you know it, you got to kind of judge it it's everybody's situation is unique even though this is a general reading every situation is unique so you know your you know your story better than me but i do feel like this is playing a role all right let's take a look and see what the chinese signs are here for you and your person virgo all right Year of the Tiger, Year of the Monkey, like I said in the beginning, Year of the Snake, Year of the Horse, Year of the Rooster, Year of the Ox, Year of the Dragon, and year of the rabbit. Okay, so that could be you, could be your person. All right, let's give you another message here. Angel message for Virgo, special message for Virgo. All right, look at that, breaking the ego. The illusion of being trapped. Someone is accepting responsibility for their situation and then making choices that supports the path to happiness. Maybe even looking at some addictions or unhealthy habits that played a role in this situation. Anything else for Virgo? This is also, let me say, the devil card. Okay, so looking at some toxic behaviors. And so what do we mean by toxic? Like sometimes, sometimes toxic can be kind of offensive because it's like everybody's got um, strengths and weaknesses. And sometimes toxic is basically related to operating out of your weaknesses and not your strengths. So to save face without calling anybody names here, <laughs> Let's just say that there is an element of two people who are operating out of weaknesses and not strengths, okay? Um, rather than saying someone is toxic or, you know, that's even, I just feel like, let's be mature about it, okay? <laughs> let's, be mature, let's be mature about it, okay? But there is, maybe there's some people pleasing energies 
or codependency that was playing out in the relationship as well. Someone forgetting about themselves and doing everything to make somebody else happy in order to avoid conflict or deal with it, deal with issues. Um, I feel like there's a relationship here that was fractured and it looks like there's an opportunity to work it out. Okay. So I'm going to say definitely a decision needs to be made here. Making a choice. There's the seven of cups. And I feel like this person who, who you have this relationship with is making compromise and is, is going to compromise and try to find ways to overcome these obstacles and problems with you. Okay, breaking those chains to, you might've been dealing with someone who's very passive or um, who's just procrastinating, which is kind of the same. Um, Alan, analysis paralysis, right? Um, somebody getting, uh, this person's getting clarity on what they desire to move forward. Like I said, it, either too many options or addictions or they were li living in some kind of fantasy land. And nothing is as satisfying as um, being with you, Virgo. That's just the bottom line. Nothing meets the need that this person has more than just being with you, okay? You're, you're kind of like, I feel like this person, and they're just telling me, they overdosed on your love and it became overwhelming the deep in the deep feelings all stemming from the chemistry that you and this person had like you guys have very good chemistry it's overwhelming for them <laughs> so what they're learning how to manage their emotions well how they manage their emotions is to say hey i feel overwhelmed i need a little bit of space to communicate this this is like everything could be worked out with communication and when people can't work things out by communicating or they, they can't take time away to try to process and work it out, they generally go to war. That's what countries do. <laughs> they either go to war or they make new rules, okay? I, don't, I feel like maybe you guys went to war, couldn't solve the problem, and now it's coming back in to communicate and maybe set some new ground rules or set some new boundaries or ideas of how this relationship needs to go forward. Yeah, taking the next steps partnering with your person and sharing dreams together expanding your plans and continuing to move forward so i feel like it's a super super positive reading for this week honestly i do i don't think i don't think it can really get any better than that okay so that's something virgo that you um have been hoping that you and your person could sit down and talk about things or that they would be willing to um it looks like that's the case here. And uh, honestly, it's not for everybody, right? Um, like I said, it, it could happen at the end of the month. It's it, I'm definitely feeling October vibes, and I am feeling more so this week. Actually, I don't know what our, where our moons are this week because I, I threw my calendar away, uh -huh. so I have no idea. But let's take a look and see what your initials are, see if we can get some qualifiers. All right, Virgo. So you have Scorpio, Capricorn, Sagittarius, and Pisces. Those are the first four signs showing up. I got some blanks here. All right, somebody has two O's in their name. Two O's. Okay. Hmm. So we've got September 18th. September 7th, September 6th, 1971, August 27, 1981, okay, 1971, 1990, someone is 40 years old, 55, 37, 1973, 1975, uh, September 20th, someone's 53, 62, 49, someone's 31, we're born on August 31st, and September 
fourth. Okay, I'm hearing J, like J A Y, J. Uh, 1962. I don't know if I said that. Oh, look, you guys, for everyone in the chat, there's my word. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> Okay, yeah, somebody, we have an August Virgo here. Um, someone's connected to a May, like a Taurus or a Gemini. Okay, KC or KC. KC. Okay. All right, we've got Ian. Jew, J O O, or J U, or Yoon, Pia. I always get Pia. I don't know why. All right, so let me just give you initials. We have the initial G. Someone's name starts with an A. I heard Arlene. I'm hearing Arlene. We have a W. So that's Walter, they're saying, or William. We have a P, the letter P, initial P. Edward, Eddie. Or Edith, <laughs> Edith, Elaine. Okay, the letter Y, Peyton. We have a Peyton. We have a J, letter J. Jacqueline. Uh, James or Jimmy. We have a B. Blaine. Just heard the name Blaine, B-L-A, I don't know how you spell it, N-E. Barbara, Bobby. Or a name that starts with the letter B. Okay, we have CC, CC. We have a name, a letter K, Kathy, Kelly, Hala. Kia or Colonel, 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 Kim. Someone's a cook. Someone works as a cook. Maybe a line cook or a chef, or there's cooking something right now. Could be cooking something. Um, someone's booking, making like booking something. Maybe you're booking a personal reading. Hey. Go for it, you guys. Book that reading. Book those readings with me. Okay. So let's take a look and see what your charms are. Move it on. All right. So starting here, Virgo, with some cherries. You've got some cherries here, Virgo. Let me see if I can put them on the thing. Ever since I moved my camera the way I did, now I can't. I can't hold you the, show you the cherries without it falling. Okay, yeah. So you've got some cherries here, or maybe you've got like cherry air freshener, um, or like strawberry in your car, or something along those lines. Or maybe you got that hanging from your <laughs> windshield. Um, I could say something else, but I'm not gonna. But uh, there's a connection to cherries. Maybe somebody's name is Cherry or Sherry. There is uh, a connection to the word or a connection to the fruit. Eating some cherries. Okay. You also have, ooh, planetary heart. Planetary heart. A spacey heart. <laughs> Planetary heart, I don't know. You guys have a love of astrology or a love of anything to do with space, physics maybe. Um, 
there's something going on here like a like it's in your heart a love of a love of planets moons stars some kind of a love like a real love fascination i would say that's probably true because you're here listening to these readings and you're listening to tarot card readings maybe you are out you love being out at night looking up at the stars looking at the planets it could be like your thing like something that you just love doing okay you also have a points a gold poinsettia um okay they just said somebody is getting ready to either start christmas decorating or taking their stuff out and going through all their christmas decorations now uh, maybe gonna buy some new decorations for the holidays this is this feels like um you know when they put like a a gold poinsettia decorations on wreaths something here to do with maybe some wreaths doing something with wreaths maybe you're gonna make a special wreath for someone for christmas if you celebrate christmas all right, and now we have another flamingo again, but this time he's not pink. Um, although, yeah, it's a flamingo. I thought maybe it was a stork. Could be a stork. There might be um, somebody actually, okay, since it's kind of like we're unsure, I do feel like somebody might, you might hear, or it could be you, but you could hear that someone's late and they're, they, like there's a worry there might be a pregnancy because they're late. Right, but I don't, I don't, I feel like it's, it's a false alarm. I, I feel like it's a false alarm. Maybe that's already happened and somebody already told you, you know, and you just found out. But yeah, I feel like there's a false alarm about a pregnancy up, coming up this week. You're going to hear about it this week. All right, Virgo. So I'm going to leave that reading there for you. Hope you enjoy it. Again, go over to my website, moonpydarrow.com. The link is in the description box below and book your discounted reading for October. It'll be right there on my, um, my website. So do go check that out if you really need to get a reading with me. And um, if not, I will see you all back here tomorrow. All right, take care. Love you guys. Bye. I just can't let you go. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one. No one likes being like to You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us Ooh.